long split range for any of these classes. You have to have a bit with a shank on it. Who knows what a shank is? A long metal leverage device that comes from the mouth to the ring. The ring cannot hook on to the bit. Oh, look. Found one. Found one. We stole it. This is a shank. Okay? These are long reins. They have to, this is a requirement for bareback and horsemanship. Okay? Which side of the we'll ask the ambassadors? Which side of the horse do the do the reins hang on? No. no. There you go. So you, if you are riding with your right hand, your reins hang down your right side of your horse. If you're riding with your left hand, your reins hang down the left side of your horse. Okay, judge, you have a class. You are now being judged. Girls, you guys need to cut. Whatever you need to. So you'll notice when they're riding that their shoulders, their hips, and their heels are all in a straight line. You want to make sure that no matter what you're doing, your shoulders, your hips, and your heels are in a straight line. Make sure to keep your heels down and um, to talk sit about straight. What do. Yeah, talk about passing. So when you pass with another, if you're passing another horse, you always pass to the inside. And remember, in novice class, you will not be asked to lope in bareback. In junior class, you'll be given an option to stay at a trot or stop. It'll be dependent on the judge. So don't panic. These ladies have done it once or twice. And when you're judging, always hold your hand like this. Like, you like hold on the reins. Perfect. Hold it like you're holding the cookie tray. Yeah. yeah. So when the judge asks for a reverse, if you are stopped, you will perform a 180 pivot. If you're not stopped, then you do a small circle and get immediately back on the rail. Without breaking gait. Yeah. Are you allowed to touch your horse? You're not supposed to touch your horse? Um, like, you will, if you, in a, in a horse class, if you touch your horse, if you grab mane, if you grab your saddle horn, you will get penalized. Or pet, right? Or pet your horse. That free hand stays right here. That ice cream, imaginary ice cream cone, you are not letting it drop or touch anything. So with your ring hand or with your free hand, you should not be touching your horse, your saddle, yourself, anything. So one other thing to add, if your horse does pick up the wrong lead, regardless, always try and fix it. It's better to make a mistake and fix it than just to keep making that mistake over and over. Because each stride, that's going to dock your points. So when lining up, uh, how they are doing now, the judge will ask you to usually face them. And the first horse in, you want to make sure that you're lined up with that first horse. If you're like way in front of the first horse that comes in or way behind it, that's not going to look very good. You want to be lined up. Make sure you're one horse length apart. Yeah, yeah.